Hey y'all, welcome back to another Tim Talks Christian Rock. Tim Risto here, host of the Creative Christians Podcast, joining you again today for another very quick episode here. This is really kind of more of an update uh, on something I talked about previously. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with someone you love. Also, if you have not heard the Creative Christians Podcast, please head on over to my Buzzsprout page. The link is on screen now, and it's also in the description below. Check it out. It's all about Christians and creatives and how their faith influences their work and creativity. If you saw my first album of the week video I did about a month or so ago, I talked about the album Freedom Lessons by Flame and 1517 Music. I did an overview video on that. I do have a briefer review video that will be coming up uh, in not too distant future here. But in that video I mentioned I hope to snag a copy of the album on a limited release vinyl edition that they were putting out. It was a pre-order, it hadn't been released yet, but um, I was able to go ahead and order it, and that copy came about a day or a couple days ago, maybe a week ago even. And I thought I'd at least take a quick opportunity to show off the vinyl edition of the album, because this really is... A very good album. Just a quick summary here. Freedom Lessons is uh, an album by F the artist Flame and 1517 Music, which is a host of a bunch of different artists, including Blake Flatley and Steve Zank. And what the album does is takes Luther's small catechism and sets it to music. That, in essence, is what it does. It takes a lot of the concepts from the album itself and puts them into a uh, rap, hip-hop, gospel, pop-infused rock uh, music album. And it's really, really very good. As I said in the review, probably the worst thing about it, or not worst thing, but the uh, most unfortunate thing about it is it's too short. I wish it were longer. I wish it went on longer. But it's a very good, tight, well-paced album, so I can't really complain about that. So my vinyl copy came, thought I'd show it off. Again, the album art here is really nicely done. It's kind of got this, what I would say, this kind of 70s vibe to it with the, the orange and the green colors. Gives off this retro kind of 70s feel to it um, with all the, the artists pictured down here in front of kind of a city skyline picture. I'm not sure what which city that is. Anyway, really cool cover art. Here's the back here with the track listing, some acknowledgments, and uh, credits, publishing details, and all that. It's very simple, simple setup. I do want to mention, I noticed here in the acknowledgments, it said, we would like to extend a special thank you to our brother, Jim Nestingen, who died during the making of this record. His work and voice greatly contributed to the creation and direction of this project. We hope it honors his work and memory. Jim, until we meet again, rest easy easy. So I'm guessing, again, this is just strictly a guess on my part, but he might be one of the um, uh, seminary profs that participated in this, or perhaps he was somebody more behind the scenes. But um, I thought that was nice and uh, kind of interesting. So I'd like to look up more about him, find out who he was and what his contributions were to the project. The vinyl edition is very straightforward to well. comes in the uh, a white paper sleeve. And it is a simple black vinyl edition. Very nice, very clean, very simple. It's not a colored vinyl or anything like that. It's a side A and side B, very, very straightforward, um, which is fine. It's not a colored vinyl. Black vinyl typically is a little better quality than the way colored vinyl is manufactured. Um, but it's a very nice, very nice vinyl edition. Um, I don't really know if it's... It feels like it could be 180 gram vinyl. I don't remember from the listing whether it actually is. But, uh, again, it's it's good quality vinyl for sure. Feels heavyweight enough to be 180 gram. And uh, it certainly sounds very good. I've listened to side one so far and it sounds really good. Also in the package I got this little insert flyer about 1517 music. Um, that right there is Blake Flatley. Um, 
who I believe was more than just an artist performing on it. I think he had a hand in producing it, if I, if I have my facts correct. Here's the other side of the 1517 Music Flyer. It says, 1517 Music exists to create music that points people to Christ crucified in every season. We serve the church and individual Christians through original music releases, hymn sing events, and other liturgical resources. You can go to 1517.org slash music to learn more about them. There's the uh, little code right there to access it. Anyway, so it's a very simple, straightforward release. The um, sleeve is a cardboard sleeve. That's uh, not super heavy duty, but it's nice. It's good quality. And uh, album itself has... These tracks, which I covered in the overview video, but it has the tracks uh, Freedom Lessons, the opening track. Again, very good, very good opening track. It's got some sound bites from the seminary profs in it that kind of help explain the concept behind the album and Luther's Small Catechism, which Freedom Lessons is a great title for really explaining what. Luther's Small Catechism is about. It's really taking the biblical concepts and uh, applying them to your life, and that's lessons in how to be free through Christ. Now, track two is The Promise. Track three, Old Man, New Man. Track four, Apostles' Creed. Can You Hear Me is track five. Track six, Means of Grace. Track seven, Table of Duties. And track eight, The Blessing. You know, the album only comes to 23 or 26 minutes of music, something like that. So it's very short. Anyway, just wanted to show this off since I just got it. If you're interested in the album, if you enjoy Flame, if you're getting to know 1517 Music and some of those artists, um, this is an album well worth picking up. And if you're into vinyl, this is a very nice vinyl release. It's a limited release, so I'm not sure how many copies they'll actually... Uh, have or do have for release, but um, I'll put a link uh, here on screen and in the description below as to where you can go and order it. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Just wanted to show you that vinyl from 1517 Music and Flame. Uh, it's a nice vinyl edition, so if you get a chance, if you're enjoying the album, if you're interested in the album, and if you like vinyl, it's a nice, simple, straightforward vinyl release, and I'd highly recommend you picking it up. That's all I got for today. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Go out and listen to some great Christian rock or Christian music. And above all else, stay in God's Word. Blessings. Take care. Have a great one.